Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Open Air. Today is a day that I'm gonna do a little catch and cook. Um, headed out to a beautiful spot. As you can see, all the beautiful marsh swampland. Can't beat it. So we're out here. This is a uh, Tuttle Marsh. But yeah, so we're gonna try and do a catch and cook. I'm headed out to my spot to try and catch some trout. Show you how I'm gonna clean it and uh, how I normally go about it when I go to eat trout. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy and stay tuned for the action. All right, so we made it, and uh, we're gonna start right here at the culvert and hit a few little spots right here. And then we're gonna take a walk up river, or upstream, and uh, see what we got going on. I got my spinner and one rod, and then I got a crawler rig on the other. I haven't rigged it yet, but we'll see what they're feeling today. And uh, hopefully we can catch some trout, and I'll give you guys the demo on how I go about it. So let's get to it. We're taking a walk to the back of the creek. We're gonna walk it back out. And uh, that's when all the action starts, so hang tight. So I've been walking up and down the stream a little bit and it's really shallow right now. There's very few holes, so just kind of picking and choosing some of the best looking spots. There's a fish there. For sure, I've seen them. As soon as it hit the water, he kind of moved. Oh, got a little one. Good, he got off. Good deal. He got off. Oh, there's a good one. That's a good trout right there. That's gonna be the one. Look at him. Look at him. Oh shoot, you know what? That's not gonna be the one because he got snagged. He, he hit at it, but it ended up hooking him in the side or something. Never seen that on brook trout before. That's a really nice trout. Gotta get him in here and get him released. So it don't hurt them. Super nice trout, that sucks. Try to get down here a little bit maybe. Grab them. Testing out the waterproof shoes. Oh, look at that trout. That's such a beautiful trout, that sucks. That's a 13, 12, 13 incher right there. He swooped at it. Look at that. That's a beautiful trout. I can't keep him though. That was a foul hook. So he gets to go. I guess it doesn't matter that the stream is a little low because they're still in the holes. That's good. This is the spot right here where I caught my 13 incher on uh, what, the one video where I limited out. It's a really nice hole, but it's hard to get to from where I'm at. There's one. There's one. Oh man, get out of there. That's a nice trout. And there we have it. Catch and cook can happen now. I didn't know if I was going to get into one casting it in there like that, but we got him. This is the one. He's going to be the, the cooker. Look at that. It's another beautiful trout. They're, uh, they're definitely just hiding in them holes because of how shallow it is. Well, 
got the one I'm cooking. Let's see if there's any others over here. It's a really nice hole. It's underneath that whole bush. And uh, yeah, might as well catch a couple while I'm sitting here. There's another one. <laughs> got him all tangled. There we go. Look like a little rainbow. Is that what you are? Nope, oh, brook trout. It's mostly brookies in this stream. I've never caught anything else. Oh guy. Wasn't the one I thought might have been in there. Oh, there's for sure gonna be a trout here. This is so perfect looking right here. I'm gonna use the old crusty crawler I got. Right where this log goes under. Big trout, come on now. Oh, little trout coming out. I'd be amazed if there wasn't a decent trout in there. It's a nice hole for how low the creek is. There's a good one. That's a good trout. Oh, wow. That is a really good trout. And there's a little one trying to chase it still. That's crazy. Here we go. Step in. Kind of figured there'd be a nice one in here. That is a monster trout right there. Look at that. That's 13. Easy. Might be keeping another couple here. Maybe we'll go for a limit on the way out. Wow. Glad I stopped at this spot. Beautiful trout. Look at that. I'm going to keep him. Holy cow. Oh my god, I almost lost him. I caught him though. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. Alright. Can't walk away from this spot without trying again after catching that trout. I knew there'd be a good one in here. It's a nice deep log. It's actually another log just ahead of it. Or it could be another trout too. But... Try over there from here so I don't have to get over there. Oh, there's a big trout. Oh my god, I knew there'd be another big one. Holy cow, holy cow. This is like big trout day here. Another freaking monster. I'm gonna limit out with like 13 inch trout. That is just nuts. Look at it. There's another beautiful brook trout. You can't beat this. Look at that. I knew there'd be another trout over there, geez. Well, that makes three trout. And uh, I'm almost at my limit, so I'm gonna go for it. I got two trout to go. Just a beautiful day. Enjoying the creek. Bugs aren't bad. It's kinda hot, but that's all right. Oh, there's one. Not a very big one. Oh, it's a creek chub. A chubber. We don't like the chubs. Chubs aren't good. That's not bad. Another rookie. She's just tying a knot in my line. Well, that just might be the end of me now just because of that. I don't want to sit here and mess with that. Jeez. Well, we'll go with three. Three's good. Well, it looks like the beavers have been at it. This wasn't here um, in the early part of the year. Like I said, I haven't been here in a little while, but that's all flooded up here on this backside. But there isn't, 
I don't know, there might be some trout in there. It's pretty sweet. I don't feel like untangling my line. All right, so this storm behind me is moving in pretty quick. Um, I, I want to go thorough through the cooking and stuff like that. So uh, we're going to take it home and I'm going to cook them there. All right, well, <clears throat> the weather's starting to turn a little quicker. So I kind of gave up on the fishing. I got three beautiful trout. We're going to have them for dinner. And uh, when I get home, I'll show you guys how I go about cleaning them and cooking them. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Well, the rain finally hit. Glad I got out of there when I did. We had three trout today that I kept. All really nice trout. Probably, uh, I'd say 13, 12, 12, probably on the sizes. But this is how I clean them and cook them. Uh, so I take my knife and uh, go to the belly. And there's actually, there's a little line right here on either side of the neck too. Let's start there. So there's this line here and a line here. You put your knife into the one side and that actually goes like up into the mouth. So you go around their tongue and then back out this side. So you're like that with your knife. And then you pop through. So you should have a little opening right there where his tongue is. And then you go back to the hole here, the hoop shoot, and you work your way up the belly, all the way to the neck. And from there, you stick your finger in that hole that you made. Sometimes you gotta cut it back a little bit, so. Stick your finger in that hole you made, stick your thumb on the inside of the other side there, and kind of just pull kind of the grody part. So at that point, you should have all the guts out, it's like the, you know. And then you're left with this dark line inside there, that's the mud line. You wanna get that out. I just kinda put my thumbnail down in there and push and all that goes. You can see it came out there. But then you clean it out with the water. Make sure you get all the intestines. Rinse off any dark areas or any bloody spots. And you should be left with something like this. This is the finished product here, uh, deboned, and what is for dinner for tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and that is how I do my trout, and yeah, that's like my favorite so yummy. fish. That's why I'm marrying him. Like and subscribe for more. Yeah, we'll see you guys again. Bye. Bye. You gotta get across. We're gonna just help you out, alright? Is that fine? You ain't gonna get upset, right? Don't bite me. I'm just gonna help you out here, okay? Put you across the road. Get on in there, buddy. <laughs>